So hey everybody, it's Mickey, and in today's video, we are planning for fall. I have a clothes haul for you. I have some really unique fall decor, and I'll also have an awesome fall crock pot meal. So if you are new here, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. I'm out of bed early this morning and I have to admit I'm a little bit on the struggle bus so I'm going to light my favorite candle. I'm making myself a cup of tea along with a breakfast chocolate chip cookie. I'm going to sit down and plan out my day. I know the first thing on the list is going to be to get dinner started in the crock pot. So the recipe that I'm sharing today is an oldie but goodie, and I think I may have shared this one before with you, but it is worth repeating. This is going to be for beef tips and gravy. It is one of our favorite crock pot meals, and it was on the request for the week. Now for this recipe, of course, you're going to need some, um, about two pounds or so of beef stew meat. I have a third package that I'm probably going to be throwing in that as well, so we can make a little bit extra, maybe stick it in the freezer. You're going to need some garlic, cream of mushroom soup, about a cup of beef broth, You'll need a package of brown gravy. Now I also pulled out a package of French onion soup mix, and I think I'm just going to toss that in there for a little bit extra flavor. You're going to need um, one chopped small onion. I'm also going to use a little bit of Mrs. Dash and some black pepper. And then once everything is all cooked, I'm going to use a little bit of corn starch and water um, if I need to thicken up the gravy a little bit. I can't wait for this to get started because it really does make your house smell so good during the day. It gets you so excited and anticipating dinner time. So let's get this all in the crock pot. So we're adding all the beef stew meat to the crock pot. And you wanna make sure that it is spread out as much as possible and then I'm, on top of that, I'm going to put some Mrs. Dash and a little bit of black pepper. Sprinkle in your chopped onion all around. And then we're gonna mix together our gravy ingredients. In this bowl, I have my cream of mushroom soup. I'm also going to add a package of the French onion soup mix and a package of brown gravy. And then I'm going to start whisking this all together to get it, you know, as smooth as I can get it. So I'm gonna add in the beef broth. Now, if it's a little bit lumpy, don't really worry too much about that because that'll all work itself out as it cooks in the crock pot. On top of our stew meat and onions, you're going to go ahead and add your sauce. Make sure you get every last drop of that good stuff. 
Then you're going to cover, you can cook it on low four to six hours. The way I like to do this is I like to start off the first hour on high about for like an hour or so, and then I will move it back to low and let it cook for another three to four hours. I always check it with a meat thermometer before I serve it just to make sure that everything is up to the proper temperature. So I am really excited to share with you guys my little fall clothing haul here. I don't think I have shared a clothing haul in such a long time because normally what I do is I'll go out and I'll buy, you know, like a piece here, a shirt there, a pair of jeans, and that's pretty much it. But usually in the fall and winter months, I go shopping. <laughs> I really love fall and winter clothes. Those are my colors. I love the, you know, the earthy brown and green colors. I like jewel tones. I like a lot of like amber colors and just, they just seem to go better with my complexion than, you know, the summer and the spring colors. Also, I love the clothes so much more in the fall and the winter than I do in the spring and summer. They just, they really get me excited about getting dressed every day. I'm somebody that loves to layer. I love scarves, I love boots, I love sweaters, you know, all those wonderful things of the fall and winter. Now this haul contains a couple things that I got in store and a couple things that I ordered online. So let's start over here with this adorable pumpkin sweater that I got online at Maurice's. I have been buying a few things from Maurice's lately. I really love how soft their sweaters are and that they're really stretchy and oversized and they're just comfortable clothing. I am a true 80s girl at heart, so I really love these like, um, I think we used to call them far aisle sweaters back in the 80s. I've always liked this design. They had um, this pumpkin design and one that had leaves. I did go back and order the one with the leaves on it as well. So. I ordered myself a medium in this sweater, which is a little bit big on me, but I'm gonna be wearing this for very casual events, you know, like going out and, you know, to festivals and things like that. So I didn't want anything that was too form-fitting. And like I said, the fabric is so, so soft and stretchy. It's really a comfortable sweater. Um, you can wear it without anything underneath of it. I like to always put um, a shirt with a collar on with these kinds of sweaters. I just think that they look so cute that way. But I love the color in this. I love the pumpkins. These are some of my most favorite colors. And it just feels cozy when you wear it. The other thing that I found online was this beautiful mustard yellow denim jacket. I love denim jackets. I have probably about a dozen of them in all different colors. I wear them all the time. One of my favorite ways to wear them is over a dress or a skirt, which makes, you know, I think it just doubles your wardrobe because you can take, you know, a kind of a, a business-like dress, add a denim jacket to it and some flats and you have the perfect, you know, fall afternoon outfit. So I had been looking for a mustard yellow color jacket for the last couple years and I never found one that I really liked the um, shade of yellow that it was. So I found this one on the Stitch Fix website, which I did not know that you can just buy clothes off of there. I thought the only way to get clothes was to sign up for subscription service, which I did get for a little while, but it was very hit or miss with me and I ended up normally sending back the majority of the box. So when I saw this jacket online, I was like, I grabbed it right away. I got it in a medium, which is my regular um, jacket size. Like most things though, the, um, the arms are a little bit too long for me because I'm normally petite sizes and that's one of the things that I always have issue with is the length of the sleeves. But you can just cuff it up there at the bottom and it works out just fine. I'm really looking forward to wearing this. I think it's such a great fall color and it goes so well with almost any color. I really think that mustard yellow is more of a neutral. It can go with greens, it can go with purples, it can go with you know any type of denim. It looks great with black, so I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. I cannot wait to wear it. 
So I took a drive out to our outlet mall, which is you know, just a few miles away from my home. We have a big premium outlet mall um, that has just a ton of stores in it. It is like packed every weekend. The best time to go, at least in our area, if you are a local, is like a Tuesday or Thursday morning. So I ran over there because they have, um, of course, an Ann Taylor outlet, and you guys know how much I love Ann Taylor. And I was looking for a couple fall dresses. I didn't see any dresses just yet that I like. I think that Ann Taylor is one of the few stores that has petite clothing and I have noticed over the last couple months that the outlet store hasn't been getting as much as they used to get in petites which is really frustrating because it's so hard to find clothes to fit me to begin with and I'm about 5152 on a like a really good day and just the regular size clothes is just too long the arms are too long the hem is too long and it looks like I'm wearing my sister's clothes so but anyway <laughs> I digress so I was in there um, to look for some dresses but I came across these um, I call them pixie pants but I guess they have them as um, pull on leggings they have a very narrow leg, which I love, and they are a plaid, which, you know, as you know, plaid is my favorite color anytime. And I really like these. They have like um, black and kind of like this, I don't know what you would call it. I guess it's like a, a wine burgundy color and gray. So you can wear any color of sweater with these. I got these in a petite medium. They were so comfy. I love pants that are narrow legged like this. I just think they're so comfortable and at least on me they're a little bit more flattering than um, the wide legs because they seem to be like very billowy on me and I just don't think they look that great. But while I was there I picked out a sweater to go with it. Of course, like I said, you can do black and gray, but I thought this was such a pretty color, um, this like wine color, that I wanted to get something that um, matched with it. So they had this sweater, which I also got in a petite medium, and it just has um, a crew neck collar, and then it has like this little shirt tail hem that I thought was really, um, was really pretty, because it kind of cut because it kind of broke up, you know, the colors a little bit. So I picked this up. Loved, loved these pants in this plaid. I think I'm going to go back um, in a couple weeks to see if they get any more of these in because like I said, they were really comfy. They look great with like a little um, pointed toe flat shoe and they're so snug around your leg that they fit very easily into a boot. So while I was there, I walked over to Talbot's, which is one of my other favorite stores. They also have um, a petite department in there that I can find, you know, some dresses in and pants and things like that. But as I was going by, I saw this sweater hung up and I was like, oh my God, that is so coming home with me. And I just think it's adorable. I love sheep. Again, it's like that um, far aisle design, which I love so much. This has a great crew neck um, collar up here, and it's perfect if you just want to wear a little pointed collar shirt underneath or you don't. It's not too tight, so it's always comfortable. And it has that pretty color. I don't know if it shows up on camera or not, but it has like that load and green color. So you have a lot of options on how to wear it. But I just thought this was so cute. On the back, it has two little sheep, and it's just such a cute sweater. I got this in, in a regular medium, which um, in sweaters and things like that, I don't have too much trouble um, finding my size or fitting well. Sometimes I have to, you know, cuff up the sleeve a little bit, but you know, it's fine. As long as it's comfortable, I'm a happy camper. So I got this cute little sweater and then I did pick up another pair of those little pixie legging pants from Ann Taylor. These I got in black. I thought these would be so easy to match up with just about anything in your closet. So I ended up getting a pair of those as well. 
The other thing that I have been on the hunt for was a dress for my nephew's wedding. Some of you guys know that my nephew is going to be getting married in December and it's going to be a beautiful winter wedding. Um, I think the bridesmaids dresses are like a cranberry color so I wanted to find a dress that was you know really sparkly and pretty for that time of year as long as it wasn't black i was going to be happy so i came across this dress i think it was on um dillard's online and i just love the color of it it's kind of like an emerald green color and has all these little um, sparkles to it it has just like this little kind of a soft flutter sleeve to it I was happy that they had it in petite, which like I said, is really hard to find. So it needs no alterations at all. And unless I find something that's really spectacular, I think this is the dress that I'm going to wear. I just think this is such a pretty little dress. It's very comfortable. And you know, with the wedding being so close to Christmas, I think this color is going to be perfect. So all I have to do now is decide what color shoe I want to wear. I usually like to go with a nude shoe if I go without stockings. So that's kind of where I'm leaning now. But you guys can tell me in the comments section down below if you have any suggestions for me. But I think I finally found my dress for the wedding, which is like, you guys know, it's such a load off your mind when you find something that fits and is comfortable. I always like to share with you guys some small businesses that have awesome and unique ideas. And today I have a company that's called Entry Envy. It is a female owned company. And what she does is she creates custom signs for your entry area. So that would be either like your front porch or the entry of your home or even outside of an office store. If you wanted to put one of these signs out on your porch, you can have like your family name or you can have your house number on it. What Jennifer, the owner of the company did for me was that she created a sign here with my logo on it and my name that I'm gonna hang on my office door. The really unique thing about Entry NV is that they have a seasonal decor subscription service that you can get either once a quarter or every month. They'll send you beautiful decor pieces to decorate your sign for every season and every holiday or every month. They have three different subscriptions to choose from. You can get a modern subscription, traditional, or even a masculine option. This would be such a great idea for outside of a teacher's classroom, for your college student's dorm room, or if you have someone in a retirement community, this would be such a great personalized gift for outside their door. So the seasonal decor that I got today in this box is for October. So it has a Halloween theme, which as you guys know, is just my favorite. And Jennifer is so great. She has all the instructions that you need to decorate your sign. Inside is packed really so beautifully. She has all the different pieces for this month's theme. She even included a little candy corn treat. So I'm gonna bring this over into my craft room and we're gonna put it together and hang it up on my door. I have everything all set up here on my craft desk and we're gonna take a few minutes and put it all together. I'm gonna bring you guys in just a little bit closer so you can get a good close up view. So she's even, Jennifer, who is the president of the company, even includes a way to hang your sign on your door. Um, you can hang it on the wall, you can hang it on the door, wherever you want to put it is great. You can even set it on a shelf. So we're gonna put that aside and we're gonna follow her instructions here. And she says, um, let's see, locate the moss and cover the foam using floral picks. So. Let's open up our box a little bit and this is the moss. So we're gonna open that up and lay this down first. Alrighty. So Jennifer has included the little pins here to hold the moss down onto that foam board. Okay, next we are going to arrange a floral pick, 
pumpkin and skeleton where desired. So look how cute this is. This is a little purple flower and um, buffalo checked pumpkin. I think I'm gonna put this, let's see, maybe we'll put it off to the side just like that so you can still see my logo up there. And then we have this sweet little skeleton. I think he's so, she's so cute too. She has a little bow in her hair. So we're going to put this in as well. Now the last piece in the box is this little package and it says add magic. So let's open this up and see what it is. Oh, this is so perfect. So it's one of those little like fairy lights and it already has a little battery pack in it so we can light up our little arrangement here. I decided to move my little skeleton over into this corner right here and I just think that is so adorable. I love the lights. It adds like a nice little night light effect to it and so cute. So we're gonna go hang this up on the door and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So this is what my sign looks up on my craft room door. I just think it is so adorable. Such a unique and awesome idea. And of course, Jennifer was kind enough to give me a promo code for all of you. And I will have that and a link to the company and more information down below in my description. So I just added about 15 minutes ago a little bit of cornstarch and water to thicken up our sauce a little bit and it looks like it did its job. So I'm going to be shutting this off and keeping it here while I get our um, egg noodles and our veggies all ready to go. This recipe is so good, it made a lot. We had leftovers and a little bit to put in the freezer. You can serve this on top of egg noodles like I did today, mashed potatoes, or rice. Either way, I'm sure your family will love it. So thank you all so much for watching today. Remember to check the description box down below for information on Entry Envy and the recipe that I shared in today's video. Join our communities over on Facebook and Instagram at My Bashful Life. And please don't forget to subscribe. I'd love to have you all back as part of our YouTube family. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other, stay safe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.